two versus Link then. Two characters from Smash 64. That's true. They've been around a long time. They're on the committee that decides who gets to join Smash. <laughs> the council of eight? Or was it ten? Right. Oh, 12 if you count the characters. Right, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's the base roster is eight and then four unlockables. Yeah. Way back in the day, I would always delete the four unlockable characters and then unlock them again just for something to do. Yeah, it was fun. Okay, so fairly even start so far here. Taking his time. I've noticed lately on Twitter that the hype surrounding Pikachu saying that he's the best character in the game has really been going down. Yeah, it's because Esam's not going to anything. And he's like the only one. So. <laughs> oh, big punish on yeah, the roll, but. Not quite. Pikachu just heavy enough. Pogo. Yep. I'm glad to do that. No, he just blocks the T-Jolt with the shield. It's always entertaining to me when I see that actually come into play. All of the links can do that, and Hero. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yes. No, or, no, 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 we were talking about using the shield to block stuff. Yeah, shield to block projectiles. Yeah. Hero also cannot pogo with his down air. <laughs> He's got to find the kill here, but uh, Mr. Generic T is playing it pretty defensively, as he should. He's yeah. got a bunch of projectiles and no strong incentive to approach here. Just hang back and throw projectiles and occasionally next. Okay, yeah, finds the narrowed up smash. We got. Give me the loops, brother. Oh, nice conversion. Yeah, he to he probably could keep it going, but. Oh, yeah, that's an unfortunate roll. He definitely could have got a punish there, but wanted to not risk getting scooped by the FB, I guess. The people that have front row seats in the background have a really shitty deal. Yeah, yeah, they're way down there. They definitely can't see the platform, which means they're stuck watching the screen, which means why are you even in the stadium? Okay. Good coverage by Kazek on these tech chases. He's had a lot of unanswered percent this stock. And the screen even cuts away a too, like right now. It's not even destroying any of that. Yep. Okay. Nice. I think it was a better option to not go for the thunder at that point. Yeah, I agree. It was very even. Oh, yep. Yeah, hey, yeah, waited yeah. a little too long. He was scared of the forward air, which is valid. Link's forward air as a ledge trap is very terrifying. Oh, take it back. I wonder how much HP the bomb has. Uh, good question. I don't know. Just a little shy. What is that move? I guess Skull Bash is a strong move for Pokemon. Yeah. And he, like, Four yeah. Five, whatever. It, it's fortunate that the angle on that move is pretty reasonable to DI. Otherwise, it would be a lot uh, more problematic. But Generic T kind of running away with this a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's playing very patient with the lead. And it's, it's like he's not getting a lot of damage at once, but it's just kind of adding up. A little bit, yeah. And he's uh, he's not dropped the stock yet, so nothing really to worry about. And it's not like... 
Pikachu obviously gets so much out of his uh, his long strings and combos that end in kill moves. He, right. does, he doesn't really have anything he can just hurl randomly. Yeah, he does kind of need to get the kill rock here. And if he can, oh, yeah. If he can do that with like forward air, back air at ledge. But if a character, if an opponent is being particularly big, especially a character with as many projectiles as Lank, then Pikachu can struggle. Yep. And that's what he did there. He just he just played it safe, used his rage advantage, uh, avoided taking any major risks, yeah. and just walked away with a stock over the course of about a minute and a half. One of the reasons why Pikachu is typically regarded as such a strong character is because he's so fucking annoying to fight against. But if you annoy him back, then like as we saw, yeah, doesn't really have a whole lot of options to get in and get that kill move that he wants so badly. He has to get it raw. And fancy potatoes? Yeah, because he, he can quick attack to get himself in, but he risks running into hitboxes in the process, and uh, even then, once you're in, you don't kill them off of that. You just, you're now in, and then it's the scramble. Yeah. So. And at that high of a percent, you're probably not from so far away that you can't even get anything off of it anyway. Exactly. Town that is also a city. I agree with this pick, I think. As Pikachu? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Pikachu benefits a lot from uh, just like the edge guard combos that just carry them off with back air on the close sides. Um, and uh, most of Link's kills are vertical, uh, other than forward air, pretty much. Um, so this should help his survivability a little bit, I would say. Good luck, have fun. It's pretty much even percent. What I would like to see is how this ends up playing out if we see Kuzeyev take the first stock here. Because he played the entire first game uh, on the back foot. Uh, with Generic T taking the first stocks and then he's like having to play from behind. Um, so it could be a fairly substantial difference in, uh, in dynamic if he's able to get himself the lead. Oh, the Z-Drop bomb tripped him. Very unusual. Oh, yep. Does catch the, uh, the front there. But once again, playing from the back foot. Perry, let's get an air off of it. Nair T making great use of this space to be able to just retreat and put out a hitbox like Nair Fair. And he's adding it up very quickly on these uh, single hits that he's catching. Nice parry, but nothing off of it, unfortunately. It's looking a lot like second verse, same as the first. Oh, yeah, he was looking for the, uh, the bomb up, the, the bomb sent him on the other side. Oh, it's back hit. Excellent ledge slip in there. That's something that I see almost nobody around here do. Uh, so th that is uh, very well done. Oh, there's a bet. How much does he take it for it? Oh, I, I like the idea, but he does just end up coming out of that with 44. Still an advantage. Hank Jose, keep it going. Doesn't want to let Generic T get his feet back under him. Attack back to center stage. And 
it's not going to kill at that percent. Clawing this deficit back. Oh, no. Well, I mean... All right. That was not how I expected that to play out, but it's even, so... Making use of the, the high side platforms to camp out a little, a little bit. Ooh, good conversion. Back throw. Oh! It's a spooky situation. Zayk plays it well, maintains his advantage. Oh! Damn. Oh, he had the chase just a tad slow. Another back throw. Picks up the bomb, so he can't detonate it. Oh, wow. Stuck his head into that. And that's going to kill. Yep. That, uh, that down air interaction was quite unfortunate for Kuzey, because he, he basically stuck his forehead into that with the fair. 